Hey, Frank Imaheron, privacy expert and blackmail strategist. I'm gonna talk about controlling your fears in blackmail and also taking control of the blackmail. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, God, you know, I'm freaking out here, man. This, this blackmail is gonna destroy my life. They have my wife's Facebook page or my cousin's Instagram account or my boss's LinkedIn, whatever it may be. All that stuff is just fear factor and it's content to scare you. So the number one thing to think about is that this is transactional. It's not about hurting you or destroying you. It's about turning you into a human ATM machine. That's it, nothing more. I mean, there are blackmailers who do expose and you know, sometimes it's about revenge, sometimes it's about you know, getting more compromising content and to, from you know, a degenerate out there or something like that. But for the most part, most blackmail is about money. And so you have to get out of that victim mode in your head and start thinking like a strategist, okay? And the one thing you do have control over is the money. So you need to use that to your benefit. So you need to put the brakes on everything. Just stop making the conversation about the threats. And the conversation now is about, I don't have any money, but I can pay you in 24 or 48 hours. That is how you control a blackmailer because they want the money. So you're, what you're doing is, you know, it's like chess. Now you're chasing their king across the board. Okay, you wanna get paid, I understand that. I understand you can hurt me. However, I have no money. In order for me to pay you, I need to borrow money. So you're changing the dialogue and you're, you're not allowing them to control the situation because the only thing that they have or the only you know, bullet in their gun is to say they're going to expose you which is already established, and they'll say it 52 times, it still doesn't change the situation. What changes the situation, what delays the situation, what postpones potential exposure is you stalling. And that 24 hour stall gives you time to think, get your head together, grow some balls, and take action. Whether it be figuring out a strategy for yourself or hiring an expert like me who takes over blackmail and protects your identity, gets rid of the blackmailer, and solves your problem, basically. But the bottom line is, in order to control your fear, you have to stop being a victim and be a strategist in your head and just accept the fact that, listen, they got stuff on me, but I can control this by controlling the money. So if you have any questions about blackmail, reach out. I'm Frank M. Ahern, and be safe.